Hi friends, it's Auntie Cuckoo here and today's the day. I'm finally sharing my Halloween home decor tour with you guys. So let's turn this camera around and show you how I decorated. So it is evening here, right around six o'clock. So this will be kind of the lighting. It'll be on Halloween when we start to hand out candy. Some areas are a little bit darker, so we'll come back at the end of the video and show those during the daylight. This has kind of been my theme this year is spooky black cats and jack-o'-lanterns with hats. I really do like jack-o'-lanterns and I really like black cats. We don't do anything super scary here for Halloween. This is only our family's second year decorating for Halloween. It's always been very fall in our house until Thanksgiving and then very Christmas. So I do think that adding Halloween is fun, but it is a little stressful because there's a lot that goes into decorating and that's why it's taken so long to bring you guys this video. My little hutch here, the cupboard that I do my videos in front of, I just did not like and I changed it four times. So no more time for changing it around. This is what it looks like in the evening. I have some battery operated candles in my little ghost and jack-o'-lantern and my light-up ghost from Target Bullseye's Playground. You know, that's one of my favorite places to find inexpensive little pieces of decor. I've got the pieces that I made and DIY thrown in there. And I like to use wrapping paper in the back of my hutch just to kind of switch out how it looks, especially for Christmas and this year I'm doing it for Halloween. There's my little thrift store ghost. I still can't believe I got him for $3.99. And the candy corn has definitely dwindled. It was full a few weeks ago. So I mainly just did black and orange and white this year. Last year in the cupboard, I'll link last year's video for you guys to see what I did. It was a lot different. Now out in my living room, I did this shelf, which I'm still not happy with, I have to tell you guys. But up there I do have a few things that I got last year after Halloween on clearance, like that pumpkin witch doll on the corner there. I also have a little black bench that I have two figures from Target sitting on and I had actually thrifted that little black bench and it was not black. So that's fun to use for my little characters to sit on. You guys will get a better view of that shelf at the end of the video as well. Now this is sort of our shoe cupboard from Ikea and between now and Christmas, I want to put a wood topper on it. Right now, I just have a burlap runner, our little countdown from Walmart that I love, and a couple of black cats and spooky jack-o'-lanterns. That's kind of what I like when it comes to Halloween decor. Over here, I have switched out things drastically from the last home tour. I took down the olive bucket that was full of twigs and pumpkins for fall. We have our little skeleton there. He's just one of the miniatures from Walmart. That hanging sign is from the 99 cent store. And this large jack-o'-lantern with the candle in it is an after Halloween purchase from my grocery store and I scored that one for four dollars. My little ghost from Target last year, my boo sign from Walmart, and this is finally back in its place. That skull has been in my son's room or hand most of October. He's quite the artist and he's taken it back and forth to high school 
for his art class. He's just been using it to sketch and it's kind of his favorite thing at the moment. Up here, I did something that I never do. I just made a big, wild, crazy bow. And all of that fabric and ribbon was from Dollar Tree. So it didn't cost a lot to do. You guys will see that a little bit better at the end of the video in the daylight. I ended up taking a crow from my 99 cent only store and cutting the back of it off and sitting it right in the center of my wreath with some creepy cloth. Down here I have a few thrifted items, that little clock and that little jack-o'-lantern. I have my little Target witch's boots. Now over here is kind of where I spend a lot of time in front of. Below this mirror we have two recliners and I do a lot of editing there. So I just hung a little pumpkin from the center of the window and that's the rag garland that I made for my Halloween DIY. I just put some of the bat cutouts on my shutters and this area is pretty simple, small little area. I just wanted to add a little something. Now turning to my left, I have this cute little dresser I picked up at a yard sale for $5. And I always like to decorate over here as well. This is a little pumpkin guy I thrifted this year my little DIY black pumpkin from the Dollar Tree back there. And I took a candy bowl that I had got at my grocery store and just stuck a very large candle in there. Now this is kind of a two-tiered stand. I think it's supposed to be a plant stand. I got it at a flea market and it's normally in our kitchen holding fruits and vegetables in the first little area I showed you in the video. These are some shelves that I got at Hobby Lobby and I just turned them around to use as little display areas. I popped in my little jack-o'-lantern from Hobby Lobby clearance last year and some little DIY bottles that I put together. Another black crow and I have some Target black pumpkins down there with him. So for my mantle, my dream is to still have one of the mantle scarves, I believe is what it's called. And I have the fabric, I bought it. I'm hoping to get to that project over the summer when there's a lot less going on. So instead of that, I did have the chance to pick up a few black boas from my 99 cent store. And I just did the black boas, draped them, added some lights, and then a few things that I either picked up this year or last year. Those bottles are in my DIY playlist for Halloween when I did a week-long series of Halloween DIYs last year. Most of them are just bottles I repurposed from my kitchen and spray painted. I've got my little jack-o'-lantern witch there in the corner, a Dollar Tree sign in the other one, and this black architectural looking thing here in the middle is something that I picked up at a thrift store last year. Now I do have two urns, but they're not exact, so I just popped two matching pumpkins on top, and then down here, it's just a hot mess. <laughs> this is the little banner that I made last year, my Dollar Tree Beware sign, and I collected a bunch of pumpkins, um, some of the more natural twiggy kind, white, black, and orange on my bale of hay. Now coming up to our house outside, you can see it's gotten dark very quickly. I just have one of the kids old trick-or-treat buckets and a little light I popped inside. This is on one of my little plant hangers. 
And normally in this little cage, I have a succulent. So I reused one of the Dollar Tree skulls from the DIY where I made all of the lids and apothecary jars. And I hung a bunch of lights along our fence. Our front yard's pretty long and I wanna light it up really well because we get upwards of 200 trick-or-treaters. This year I took the cones you can find on the toy aisle at Dollar Tree and painted them to look like candy corn. And then I just put them on top of those lights that you can get at Dollar Tree for your pumpkins. And it's just a jack-o'-lantern. I put a light in and this is just a little disco light that was my daughter's when she was like 10. We like to use masks that the kids have played with or had and just put lights behind them in our bushes. And not much has changed over here. I've just added some of our bones and a little kitty cat to the plants. And I did switch out my scarecrow bow and the ribbon on my wreath. So when I switched this out from fall to Halloween, I shared it on Instagram. So if you guys ever want to come over and see what I'm up to, it's a lot of fun to post there and share things from my day to day with you guys, as well as things I'm finding in stores because there's no editing involved. So come on over if you are on Instagram and say hi. This is my last minute rigging job. So our neighbors all go all out because we have an event on our cul-de-sac and it's a family friendly party that we started nine years ago with me making tacos for four families that are still very close. Now it's a community staple. So we all try to outdo each other and their ghost was bigger than mine. So I just pulled out one of our garden tables and made mine taller than theirs. Now this is one of my patios. I have a lot of patio space in our home and this is our front patio. I film a lot of DIYs when the weather is really nice, not too hot out here. And this is where we'll be hanging out the teenagers and myself handing out loads and loads and loads of candy tonight. Here's my little standing plunger broom that I DIY'd last year from the Dollar Tree. And just a little light up pumpkin. Now I'm going to take you guys back inside for a look at the hutch during the daylight so you can get a little bit better look and as well as a few areas in the living room. Up here are my Dollar Tree witch's feet, a little tutu that I made out of a skirt from the Dollar Tree, and plenty of jack-o'-lanterns that I picked up last year and this year. So the kids are really excited, even the teenagers, because now they get to hand out the candy to the little ones and they love seeing their costumes. Our one youngest child who is still dressing up and trick-or-treating is going to be a gorilla. My daughter is actually going to be the queen of hearts, but just the card. Her and one of her closest friends are dressing up together as the ace of spades and queen of hearts. And my son will probably wear an Obi-Wan Kenobi robe that I made for my husband right after we gave birth to my son almost 17 years ago. 
I just think back to dressing up and going to school on Halloween. I know not everyone gets to dress up to school anymore, but my mom was a teacher, so on days like today, I always try and think of the teachers who are trying to keep all these little minds busy on their work and get their mind off of their candy coming tonight. Here's a little bit better look at that shelf, just with a little bit more light. You can see that black cat in the back that I thrifted and that little bench that I have my two characters from Target on. Growing up, we always made our costumes. We were very thrifty and my favorite costume of all time was when I was in kindergarten. I was not a small child. I was a big girl even then and bless my mom's heart she went to the thrift store and found a prom dress she brought it home spray painted it silver I had very long hair that she put up in a beehive and with a little bit of makeup and paint she made me into the absolute cutest Martian you could ever imagine I don't even know if we have pictures of it but it is a memory that I will never forget. I felt so glamorous and I just knew that I had the best costume in my class. So whether you're staying home and handing out candy, taking little ones out, or just enjoying the evening at home tonight, I hope you all have a wonderful evening. Happy Halloween from our home to yours and I'll see you back very soon in the next video.